It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. All that and more coming up next. On a warm late summer afternoon, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here. As it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the New York Giants. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, the wait is over. The regular season is upon us. It is kickoff weekend around the NFL. Our two teams here getting in a final tune-up, but let's look ahead to the 2023 season. What are you going to be watching for? How about some of the recognizable new faces in new places? Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr, Odell Beckham Jr. The identity of teams under new coaches in places like Houston, Carolina, and Denver. Then, of course, the rookies. After the draft, we want to see how they perform. set for a start as we are underway from MetLife Stadium. And this taken in at the goal line. And they will wrangle them down a couple yards shy of the 30. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time and it is their now 30-year-old quarterback Dak Prescott who leads the way. Prescott has some things to clean up from last season leading the NFL with 15 interceptions and only 12 games played. But we can't overlook the good. 23 touchdowns and an 8-4 record as a starter as he led the Cowboys to consecutive postseasons for the first time since 2007. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Now second and five. Looking to throw, Prescott. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Nice play on the football, and while it was tipped in the air and made everyone a little bit anxious before falling to the ground, you just know defensive players are taught to knock the ball to the ground. But early in games, emotions come into play. Nerves come into play. And despite the training, the ball was tipped up. Fortunately for them, they didn't pay for that error. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the 27. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. And the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be. Someone who could threaten the defense throwing it, and especially as a runner. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards and moves the sticks. So one play and they're already just shy of midfield. Throwing, Jones. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. Second and 10.
Now Jones. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. They'll look to throw again. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week, but they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. On fourth down, Jamie Gillen on to punt for the Giants. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Here's Prescott. And it's knocked away and incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches have told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Call that a very strong gain of 24. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Off the play fake, Prescott. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. That was a long pass attempt downfield, and the ball was popped up in the air. And how come things go from really fast to almost slow motion when the ball's up in the air and the defender's unable to haul it in before it hits the ground? So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And again, it's Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Prescott now. Steps away to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play. And he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it. And he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. On is the punter, Brian Anger, to kick this one away. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, 
and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Now a two-time Pro Bowler coming off a big year. Saquon Barkley gets thrown. Now an opening. And he's going to get this all the way down to the Cowboys' 32-yard line. A tremendous play there from Saquon Barkley. 41 yards. Well, welcome to the party. First carry of the game. How about that? And just think, as far as he's concerned, he's just getting warmed up. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Back to throw. Jones. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Looking to throw. Jones. Open target here. Darius Slayton. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. So they give up the completion there. But defensively, Charles, you're going up against a quarterback here who's had some moments, but really a lot of ups and downs in the early part of his career. What's the plan against a guy like this? Well, you want to rattle him first and foremost. Bring some people at him, a couple extra guys in the pocket, see if he can handle it. The second thing, you want to make him think. Show him one look, go to another, disguise a few things, make him throw into what you call your defensive traps, and try to make some good plays on the ball and get a few takeaways. Well, with his size, you've really got to wrap up because arm tackles, they're not going to cut it. And that time, he used his full-grown man strength to fight off his defender and pick up the first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down. 26-yard line. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Micah Parsons is off to one of the greatest starts in any NFL career. Two seasons, two All-Pro selections, two-time Defensive Player of the Year runner-up, and even some MVP votes last year. And behind all of that, 26 and a half sacks. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Back to throw. Jones. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. Gano's kick is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there, 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. Kevante Turpin now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, 
Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. Pollard, he'll take it up the gut. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. A great run by Pollard, and runs like that have had us anticipating a breakout season from him for years. And it finally arrived in 2022. Dallas gave him more run, and he had his first 1,000-yard season despite receiving less than 200 touches. Prescott looks to throw on first. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Prescott. Left side to Lamb. And they're gonna have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 39. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. First down, Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. On second down, it's Pollard. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run-blocking abilities, and we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are able to answer the early three points and take a first-quarter lead. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing, going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Extra point splits the uprights. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. On the return, here's Gary Brightwell. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. Second and nine. Looking to throw. Jones, a short throw pulled in by Bellinger. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four.
Now a third and six. Back to throw. Jones. He's got his target. That's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A first down carry for Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and eight. Operating from the gun, Jones. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Looking to throw. Joe, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Here now, second and four. Now Prescott. Oh, it stays up. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Throwing, Prescott. Ah, uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win, and the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. And now out come the Giants. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones not having balls go through their place. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 in a first down. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. Jones now on first and 10. Incomplete. Fair to say hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. 
Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, that's why the guy with the headsets is down there. All right, they know what they're doing because they got stuffed on a running plan first down. And I think myself and probably the fans were saying throw the football in this situation. But he knew what he was doing, called another run, and now they've got third and short. Jones off the bootleg. That is caught. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Operating from the gun. Jones going right side. He finds Slayton. And the Giants are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Back to throw. Jones. Touchdown, Giants! Darren Waller, a seven-yard touchdown grab. The Giants have retaken the lead. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So this drive spans seven plays, and it concludes with a touchdown reception by Darren Waller. Touchdown here to kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Dallas offense set for this next drive. The last series form a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Not only an explosive play, but an explosive run. I mean, broken tackles along the way to pick up that yardage. The way things kept churning for him, feet were moving, the legs were driving. Looks like someone who spent his off season working on hill work, running through sand, all the things that you want to build up those leg muscles. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Dexter Lawrence finding his way through defensively for the stop. No daylight for him to run through there and he ran into the defensive tackle and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Now Prescott, short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. 
to throw is Prescott. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 20. Prescott on first down. That is, and now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it and not realizing that danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. Here's Jones. Following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. You've got to know as a quarterback that's going to be tough to outthink this guy in the defensive backfield. He's been at it 11 years now, so he knows all the ins and outs of the position, and he's in the right spot there to come up with the interception. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Boy, how about the strength there after the catch? I've got to get back in the gym myself now. I'm inspired. Boom, he shook off some tacklers. Bang, fighting to get to the goal line. Couldn't quite get there, but he's got his guy set up first and goal. Pollard will take this into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. And this is where you can't help but think about our friend, the coach, the late John Madden, because this was his kind of football right here. Line them up and let them get after it down in the trenches. And as a running back, you just need that one crease, one side of daylight. He finds it, and he barrels into the end zone. Touchdown, coach, just like you would draw it up. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive, because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Looking to throw. Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. Off the play fake, Jones. 
And this will be caught. It's Isaiah Hodgins. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there on 20 yards. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. Nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Here's second and 10. Barkley inside handoff. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Micah Parsons. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. You doing okay over there, partner? Because that's yet another sack in this game that you just had to call. We're not even at halftime yet. No wonder this team has the lead. What an effort by the defense right from the word go. The adjustments at halftime, they're going to have to be big, or this could really get ugly in the second half. And this is a beauty as that ball is going to angle out at the six-yard line. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. The tackle is made by Adore Jackson. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Going to run again here with Pollard. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Give him four He's yards the there on the first down keeper. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 44 yard line. Second and six. Prescott to throw it. Open man downfield is Lamb. It's complete. And they'll wind up getting this with all the way down inside the 20. 36 yards on the play. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Looking to throw, Prescott. And this will be incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's a second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here's Prescott. And Cooks hands it over the middle. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 
Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. They'll throw again. Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes it a 21-10 game. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Giants now going to take over late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. Now Jones. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing Jones. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. He was looking that time to get it to Paris Campbell, but now it's third down. This time they stay on the ground. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He's already over 100 yards rushing for the game and has a touchdown run as well. 
All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Giants' offense set to begin this third quarter. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start of the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive, because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, try and slow things down a little bit. Coverage was great everywhere that time. He tried to get it to his outlet, tried to get it to his running back, but sailed it a little bit too high and actually left his body open for a big hit. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again, second and 10 from the 25. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Osa Odigizua with the effort there to earn the sack. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And they're gonna get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Well, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. And the pass complete to Waller on the out route. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Now Jones on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. They'll look to throw again. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Off play action. Jones. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. They spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. Gano's kick is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. Charles, even as long field goals become more and more common, this is still a very rarefied air. Only just over 20 field goals have been kicked from 60 yards or further. And you can add his name to the list now. And as calm as he tried to present himself, there's no doubt there were some nerves as he lined up to attempt that kick. But once the ball was snapped, he just swept the leg and boom, over the crossbar.
after knocking through the field goal. Here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not, the case. not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. Prescott now. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On third down, it's Prescott. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Here's a second and eight. Prescott. Drops this underneath for Pollard. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Prescott's throw going to be caught by Gallup. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A good pick up there, 21 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Here's Prescott. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the Giants' 21-yard line. Second and one now from the 21. To the air again, Prescott. Over the middle complete, it's Ferguson. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. From the red zone now, Prescott, Cooks on the quick slant. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. 
That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Now a give here to Pollard. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is up to 15 now. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. And the Giants ready to come out now. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Now a second and ten. To throw again. Jones. And that one complete to Hodgins. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Back to throw. Jones. A quick pass here. He's got Shepard. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, and that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps, and soon. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 11. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, 
why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes the other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, hey, they're on scholarship too in the NFL. They're getting paid too. With the day he's had, you can have one go in the wrong direction. To throw is Prescott. Tosses the out route here to Gallup. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A Cowboy first down there, Prescott to Gallup. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength, very nice route. Now a first down run is going nowhere. He's going to be dropped in the backfield, a loss of two. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Throwing, Prescott. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 35. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And that's complete to Cooks. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 18 yards there, down two to 18, and a first down. Out of the gun to give to Pollard. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And while the guys with the ball are having a whole lot of fun keeping it on the ground, the guys on the opposite side, they are having zero fun. They've been getting pushed around the entire game and haven't found an answer yet to slow down the running game. Two yards left on second down from the nine. Prescott to throw it. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Here's Prescott. And that will not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up. His time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Looking to throw. Prescott has taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 
Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. They toss it down to Pollard. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Prescott on third and goal. Touchdown, Cowboys! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, I've heard you use the term put away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs. And if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic point after right down the middle and the lead opens up now to 22 points The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. New York's offense back out there and set to go. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Here's a second and five. Throwing Jones. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. Now Jones. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. Now this thrown deep for Slayton. And incomplete on the deep ball. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. They'll look to throw again. A short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Again, he'll drop to throw. 
That is caught. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Short throw going to be caught by Waller. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. 72 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. Jones now throwing on first down over the middle hauled in by Campbell and able to get him down but he does reach the five 18 yards there and it'll be a first and goal nothing flashy there the slant to the slot oh and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play and you know it's going to be a bang bang play in terms of the throw and the catch and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it Up the middle with Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Giants have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Jones and that giant offense looks like they're going to stay right there and go for two. They'll look to throw. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back just got to have a grin on his face every time his number is called because he doesn't feel like there's going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. Call it no gain there, and now they're looking at a third and 13. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. Prescott. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. 
critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Jones on first and 10. He'll find Hodgins there complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Here's Jones on first down. Slant pass hauled in by Campbell. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. From the 38 now, here's second down at a yard. They'll try the right side here, Barkley. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 23 yards, the final tally. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory. And that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it Barkley he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way it'll be a loss of a full three yards there and it also brings up third down I thought they were onto something with their play call and kind of went in reverse a little bit threw it on first down then ran it on second down not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Lawrence Cager laying himself out in the end zone. And the Giants get a bit closer. So this back now to a 10-point spread, and you have to imagine they'll line up and go for two. Oh, no question about it. If they can get this to an eight-point game, they can make things awfully interesting here in these last few minutes. Jones throwing for it. And they're going to get the two. It's caught. So they get the conversion, and now we're back to a one-score game. And that almost makes it a brand-new ball game. Now it's a one-score affair after they get the two. And you have to know they were holding their breath on the two-point play because they had to have it to get it within the range that you just talked about. Dialed up their two-point play. It worked. Now they're feeling like they've got a shot at this one.
and oh now following the touchdown here to kick it away and he'll elect not to return this one so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback out comes cd lamb and the rest of the dallas offense they might want to mix something up defensively because he's been shredding them a bit hasn't he that he has and even with all the changes that you know are going on on the defensive side of the ball he's still finding ways to get open finding the right spots and the delivery has been pretty good too he's over 100 yards has the one touchdown score to this point well offensively that's the mismatch that you want you want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield out in some open space but linebackers nowadays they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and ten here. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as he'll run on first down. And quickly we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Here's Pollard again. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's third and nine. Prescott to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they will take a knee here. On second down, it's Pollard. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> Well, things started off exciting. This one had a high-scoring first half, and nobody let their foot off the gas in the second half either, Charles. And, you know, for them, a really nice victory in a high-scoring output. You're right about that because so many times we'll see teams come out slow and take a while to get going, and points become a little bit harder to score near the end of games, as we know, because everyone tightens down. But no such issues in this game. The scoring started right away and held up at a steady clip the remainder of the game.